Now, 3D Studio Max has one other feature, um, which is supposed to really simplify and make navigation in the viewports a lot easier. Unfortunately, I'm really not a big fan of it. Um, it's still a little buggy and takes up some performance, some much-needed performance in complex scenes. However, in the name of completeness, we're going to be covering it here. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the steering wheel. The steering wheel was added to 3D Studio Max in 2009. If you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner here, this is the steering wheel. Now, you'll also notice that as I move my cursor over it, we get this kind of pseudo-help menu. Now, the help menu itself is actually great. It's very nice, very clean, well-designed, and gives you all the necessary information. However, you'll notice that it's actually embedded inside of the current viewport instead of sitting on top of everything. So it's actually getting clipped by the borders of my viewport here. To get around this, we need to go to the lower right-hand corner and click on our Maximize Viewport button. So now, if I move my cursor over the wheel, we can now clearly see what is going on. Now, there are many different types of wheels here. There are some specific to people who are novices and new to the world of 3D. And then there are others who are a little more comfortable with 3D but still want shortcuts on their viewport. For right now, we're just going to be using the full navigation or the large wheel. Now you notice that once you choose a particular wheel, it then follows your cursor around. That's because some of these features are based on your cursor position. For example, zoom. Click and drag on zoom. We move over here and we zoom into that area. We can click on orbit. Rotate around. We can choose rewind. Now this is actually one of my favorite features of the steering wheel. It allows you to move around through different changes in your viewport. So it's kind of like a viewport undo. Now if you're not going to be using the steering wheel, you can press shift Z on the keyboard to jump back through different changes in your viewport as well. Then we have the walk option, which allows you to kind of like walk around in your scene. You have the look option, which allows you to look around, then the up and down. You also have pan here. This tool right here can be changed into different formats. If we click on the little arrow in the lower right hand corner, you can see we have a couple different options here. Say for example, we go to our mini view object wheel. Now this one is gonna give us some of the same options that we saw in the full wheel. Like we have our zoom, we have our orbit, we have our rewind, and we have our pan. Okay, so now we're gonna be taking a look at how to disable the view cube in the steering wheel. This is because the view cube and the steering wheel, when hidden, are still loaded into memory and they're still kind of used. They still slow down your viewport in very complex scenes. So if you're dealing with complex stuff, I highly recommend that you disable these guys and get used to the hotkeys that we talked about, as well as the tools in the lower right hand corner of the screen. So instead of using these options here, you'd be using the middle mouse button to pan, zoom in and out, and then alt in the middle mouse button to rotate around. I highly recommend that instead. Anyway, let's get into disabling these guys. So the main thing that you need to do is you just need to rename a file on your hard drive so that it doesn't get recognized by 3D Studio Max and thus isn't loaded. So if we go to our 3D Studio Max directory, then depending on if you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit, depend on which one you go to, I'm using 64-bit. From here, we want to go to Standard Plugs. Within here, you'll see an autocammax.gup. And what we want to do is we want to rename this. So we can right click on the file and go down to rename. We're just going to change the extension to back. You want to change it? Yes. And that's all you have to do. The next time that you start up 3D Studio Max, they will no longer be there. And for the rest of the DVD, they will not be there. That'll basically do it for the viewport navigation. Now, let's get into selecting objects and moving them around.